Uh, I am uh, Sung Kim, and I am a Korean uh, language teacher uh, uh, from KDIP, Korean Dual Language Program, uh, Hacienda Heights in California. Today, we will uh, think about what is Hangul. King Sejong, the fourth king of Joseon dynasty, invented the Hangul in 1443. And the Hangul is originally called Hunmin Jeongum, means the correct sounds for the instruction of the people. And uh, Hangul is spoken by about 75 million people in South Korea, North Korea, China, US America, Japan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, and Southeast uh, Asian countries. And UNESCO's memory of the world was registered in 1997. And the characteristics of Hangul, uh, uh, you have to memorize three things. Hangul consists of 14 consonants and 10 vowels, 14 plus 10, remember? And Hangul is regarded as scientific because the shape of the consonants resemble the human mouth shapes and tongue positions. And Korean vowels represent human, heaven, this is human standing vowel and heaven, the short vowel, and the earth, the lying vowel, and are based on the yin and yang uh, philosophy. And we will watch the principle of hunger video. Song, I think you need to share again by clicking share screen sound. Will you stop sharing and then click share again? And when you do, you have to check mark. All right, teachers, thumbs up if you can hear the video sound or thumbs down if you cannot. <laughs> Sung, will you start sharing again, but this time click oh. on the share screen sound. Share screen sound. Okay, I will start talking. Okay. Is it okay? Can you raise the volume? All right. Is it better? No. Maybe no she sound. needs to unplug her Going. headset. If she takes her headset out, right. maybe. Ah, uh, maybe head because of headset. Will you unplug your headset? Okay. and try playing again. Oh, no. Well, maybe you can become a narrator. Let's so show the film and then explain. I will try again. There. Oh. Oh, wait. Mm. 
like that. Excellent. Hangul. We hear it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Got it. Of the 6,000 languages spoken around the world, only 1% have their own writing. The Japan tribe from Nepal, who are without an alphabet of their own, have adopted the Korean letters Hangul. Hangul, alphabet of compassion. Can you hear? Yes. Of 6,000 languages spoken around the world, only 1% have their own writing. The Japan tribe from Nepal, who are without an alphabet of their own, have adopted the Korean letters Hangul in an effort to preserve their language and culture. Over in Indonesia, it's a similar story with the indigenous Tsiatsia tribe. Although Pangu was never intended for their language, it replicates it perfectly, as its 24 letters are able to express over 11,000 sounds, by far the most in the world. No more. No more. Completed in 1443, it is the last alphabet created in history and the only alphabet made by man where the linguistic theories, motivation, date of invention and inventor have been perfectly documented. This is a tale of Hangul and its pioneer, King Sejong the Great. Consonants King Sejong completes the consonants after 10 years of extensive research including a study of the human anatomy. Alphabets began as pictographs, as a representation of everyday objects, but these new letters were iconically modelled after the human speech organs. G, the sound of letter G. As we make that sound, note how the base of the tongue blocks the throat, that is what the Korean G looks like. No, this is the sound of letter N. The tip of our tongue is raised towards our upper teeth and hence the shape of the Korean N. No, the sound of letter M in English. The Korean M is modelled after our mouth as we make the sound. Su, the sound S. This range of sound relies heavily on our dental organs. Accordingly, it is shaped like our interlocking teeth. U, our throat opens up, and the Korean O takes the shape of the throat. These are the five basic consonants of Hangul, representing the five basic sounds produced by our vocal organs. These are also the softest sounds of human speech. The remaining consonants are created by adding extra strokes, depending on the intensity of the sound. However, it was not until the mid-20th century that these scientific principles came to light. Hun Min Jong Un, discovered in 1940 and written by King Sejong himself, details the reason behind the creation of Hangul and the linguistic theories behind it. It had been suspected that King Sejong devised the consonants so that at least some of them represent the shape of your mouth as you're pronouncing that consonant. And linguists said, that can't be, that's just amazing. But then when the documents were discovered, it really is true. So those are two amazing things about Hangul consonants. Vowels. If the consonants are grounded in linguistics and science, we find something very different in the vowels, namely the philosophy of the universe. The vowels were based on the trinity of heaven, earth, and men. The round heaven. The ground beneath the skies. People who walked the earth and lived beneath the heavens. 
these were the three basic vowels, and others were made by placing the round dot above or below a horizontal line, and to the left and right of the vertical line. The vowels therefore represent the harmony of heaven, earth, and men. Hangu goes beyond, however, and also encompasses the Hangu alphabet of Komba. Okay, so can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, the Korean alphabet has in, uh, consists of 14 consonants and 10 vowels. And this is first, uh, first consonant, g, n, d, l, m, b, s, u, j, ch, k, t, p, h. So 14 consonants and vowels. Vowels is a standing vowel, a, ya, o, yo. And the uh, ground line vowel, o, o, yo, u, 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 e. So a, ya, o, yo, o, yo, u, 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 e. So aya, oyo, and e uh, <clears throat> uh, stand right side of the consonant. And o, yo, u, u, u is ground vowel, so uh, bottom of the consonant. So we will practice. Mm. No. Uh, you can. Uh, you need. You need this paper. Yesterday, uh, I sent yesterday to everyone. So this is the first two initial consonant. Initial consonant. H, h, h sound. And next, right side, standing vowel. Ah. So put together a ah, ah, ah. ah. and uh, final consonant. So this is the system CBC consonant vowel consonant. So consonant, the final consonant should be bottom, should be bottom, not right side, should be bottom. And this is so ha, n, han, sound han. And next word, g, g, and this u, u is ground, u is ground, so bottom of the consonant, g, bottom of the consonant. And then final consonant, u. Liul is the bottom of the vowel. So C, B, C, bottom. And here C, B, C. Okay. Now I will, uh, I will share how to uh, write with whiteboard. Okay, so we will write uh, the name Sua. Okay. Sua, okay, Sua. Then this is consonant, so Su. Hyo. U is vowel. Is vowel. 
So U is. Uh, look at the look at uh, look at this paper. U U is this one. So U is bottom ground consonant, and A A. I is this one. But this is, we need consonant, the initial consonant. So we need filler. Filler consonant is in. Okay? So su a. Mm. Okay, I will write another one. Uh, maybe uh, Linda. How about Linda? Lin da. Then, uh, I will divide two syllables, lin, da. So I will divide here. So lin, da, then, liel. This is initial consonant. So liel, liel. E, e is standing, e is uh, standing one, standing. So E is this one. So this is standing, so right side, E. And N. N is Dion. Dion is written bottom. So Lin, Ta. Ta is another uh, syllable. Du, Du, Tigut. Initial consonant and a, a is, uh, this is a. So this is a standing. So right, right side of the consonant. Place right side of the consonant. So linda, two syllables. In English, linda, linda, two syllables. Okay, this one, su, a, two syllables. All right, then we will uh, <coughs> divide, we will divide, uh, we will divide small group and then uh, we will practice your uh, uh, writing uh, your name in Korean. Yes. Yeah, so